Hi, my name is Caitlin Jackson and I'm your independent damsel in defense consultant. Today I want to show you how the damsel in defense get a grip stun gun works. I absolutely love this stun gun. Um, there are so many great features about this that you don't get at a lot of stun guns that you can find on the shelves of stores. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the disable pin. Um, I really love the fact that these have a disable pin. You wear this around your wrist plug it into the bottom, it's a little bit hard to plug in, that way it makes it a little bit harder for someone to take it from you, okay? So this is how you hold the stun gun. You put the um, disable pin around your wrist, insert it into the stun gun. They have a built-in charger. How awesome is that? All you have to do is plug this in straight to the wall, and you only have to charge your stun gun eight hours a month. So. Um, it's not a big commitment on your part. You don't have to worry about changing the batteries or um, worrying about your stun gun not operating because it's dead. And with the damsel and defense stun guns, they will still operate on lower power. They will not completely fail you unless they are 100% dead. But by charging it eight hours a month, you're gonna ensure yourself that you're always ready to go. So to operate this, the, your, the switch is on the side. The first step on the switch is a flashlight. This is a very, very bright LED flashlight, and I really love the stun gun because of the flashlight. Ideally, you are using this as a flashlight, okay? Um, that hopefully, you never have a time that you actually have to fire off the stun gun, but if you do, you're using your handy-dandy flashlight. Um, to use the stun gun feature, you just slide the button all the way up. This red light will come on. And then it's kind of hard to see in this video, but there's another button here, okay? So you are going to press that button. I like to hold it this way and use my thumb, and it's going to sound like this. And the great thing about stun guns is you're not going to feel anything in your hand whenever you use it. A lot of people are, think it's going to shake or shock them in some form or fashion. It won't. With a stun gun, you do have to make contact with somebody for it to work. This does not shoot out and stick in anybody. It's not a taser. Um, this is a stun gun, so it does have to make contact on the person. Um, the directions will say to hold it on somebody for three to five seconds. Well... Chances are someone's not going to stand there and let you hold it on them three to five seconds. So what I recommend is for using a stun gun, you're going to target areas here. Um, if they're wearing heavy clothing, if it's winter, they're wearing dense clothing, um, you're going to have to target an area that their clothes aren't covering. Um, I've done this to myself through my jeans. It hurts very bad, so it will go through clothing, but um, you're going to lose some of your uh, efficacy with more layers of clothing. So you want to go for somewhere here or in the upper body area and what you want to do is you want to jab it while you're obviously firing it off, which I don't want to do it to myself. Um, you're not going to be able to just hold it there on the person. You're actually going to have to do a motion like this and um, hopefully that is enough for them to get off of you and you to turn around and run, okay? With any self-defense situation, we recommend that you stun and run, spray and run. Don't stay around, talk crap to them, kick them in the back of the head, anything like that. Get out. Also, if you can, remember what they're wearing. That way you can possibly identify them to police. But anyways, um, my name is Caitlin Jackson. This is the Damsel in Defense Get a Grip Stun Gun Disable Pin built-in charger, seven and a half million volts. Um, these are available in black, blue, pink, and purple. So with tax and shipping, these come out to roughly $74. So these are excellent for everybody. Um, I personally do carry a gun, but I, all, I always recommend that gun owners also carry a stun gun because there are so many times that you can utilize this flashlight, or the stun gun as a deterrent feature, or even the stun gun whenever shooting somebody may not be the answer. So once again, Caitlin Jackson, get a grip stun gun.